Yo, what's going on everyone? J Rasta today, back with another episode to the Operator's A to Z series. And today we're going to be carrying on with the bees. Today's operator is going to be the badass buck. And first of all, as you know, we're going to be talking about the attachments that I like to use on Buck's gun. So getting straight into the video guys. First of all, we're going to be talking about the attachments that I like to use on Buck's primary weapon and his secondary weapon and the gadgets that I like to use in Buck's loadout. So first of all, we're going to be talking about the CAMRS, which is Buck's single firing marksman rifle. Now this gun personally is so powerful, like it's probably one of the best marksman rifles on the game, apart from Blackbeard's which I'll be showing in a later video, but either way, it, it's such a good marksman rifle. Either way, the attachments that I think are good for using on the CAMRS are the ACOG and the muzzle brake. Now I use these two because one, it's a single firing gun, so the ACOG just, just gives you a bit of benefit getting them headshots across the map and stuff like that. And using the muzzle brake just enables you to have a bit less recoil when you're single firing your gun. So that, that's the attachments I like to use for that gun. I don't like to use the under barrel, so the under barrel is kind of my dislike for this gun. Um, laser sight's never really something that you want to be using on a single fire gun because it's not needed you're usually going to be taking a long range shot or an angle shot with a marksman rifle so there isn't really a need for an under barrel so with bucks other sight rifle we have the c8 now the c8 is the automatic uh, assault rifle which is good at medium to long range which i think is wrong because i think it's actually good at close long and medium range like any range to be honest with you guys so with this gun i like to use the holographic sight uh, i don't really like the acog i've tried it out and i'm not a big fan of it I also don't mind the red dot sight on this gun, the as in the triangular red dot sight. It is pretty good for this gun as well. Uh, I like to use the flash hider or again the muzzle brake, and I like to use the laser sight on this gun, which is weird for me because I don't really like laser sights. So that's the two primary weapons. Getting into the secondary weapon, we have the MK1 9mm. Now with this gun, I don't really like to use much attachments. I just use the muzzle brake, no laser sight and that's about it to be honest with you it's just a pistol it deals 43 damage it's a really good gun um, with bucks gadgets i like to use the, fl the frag grenades and i like to use the stun grenades but i like to like switch it up so with the stun grenades i use them really when i'm kind of playing bigger maps and i'm playing hostage whereas with the frag grenades if i'm not playing hostage and i'm playing secure or something like that i'm probably going to be using a frag grenade because i'm probably going to be nading while i shot them through the wall or something like that so definitely try switching them up and seeing which one you like better on different maps and different game modes. So getting into Buck's specialist ability, we're going to be talking about the Skeleton Key 412, which is his underbarrel shotgun. Now, when I first started using Buck, I didn't like the underbarrel shotgun. I thought it was a bit useless, and once I started taking a bit of time to get used to the character, I realised that was completely wrong. It was a really stupid thing for me to say, because his shotgun just enables for really quick rules it enables you to not need to use your gun bullets to necessarily kill someone when you've downed them and it also means that you don't necessarily need to use your gun bullets to kill someone in the first place so i, I think it is shotgun is just overall really good attachment and a good specialist ability. so talking about my overall opinion on buck now my overall opinion on buck is quite an average one i think he's a good good operator i, I think he's really wise to spend 25k on if you want to seeing as that's the cost for buck but obviously if you haven't got 25k or if you only got 25k i wouldn't go spending on buck because not the best operator in the game but if you have got enough money to buy him then i definitely suggest that you try a buck he's definitely worth a buy i don't know if he's worth the money 25k i think maybe 20k he'd be worth but still i think he'd be definitely like a shotgun and he's still use your normal gun then. but definitely try to buy so I just wanted to say guys, at the end of the video there's some clips and stuff that I still play. So if you like watching like free pieces and stuff like that, clutches and stuff, stick around till the end of the video and keep watching the clips because I think you really enjoy them. So this has been a short look at Buck guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts and opinions were on the video. And if you've got any other ideas or anything that you think I should add into these operator series, then please hit it down below and let me know and as always remember if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe button up the top and turn on the notifications next to it so you're always remembered when my next video is uploaded
at the end of this video, I just want to leave a quick commentary just talking about the giveaway that I'm going to be doing at 150 subscribers. So to be entered into this giveaway, guys, all you've literally got to do is just hit the subscribe button in the top right hand corner and just turn on the notification button next to the subscribe button. And also come over to Twitter and follow me and just stay connected. It's at JRaster Tweets. And as soon as I hit 150 oh, subs, I it. then I'll be doing the announcement to the person that wins this giveaway. Just leave a comment down below as well of this video so that I know you have followed and that you have subscribed. That's literally all you've got to do, guys. It's as easy as that. The giveaway prize is a good prize. I'm just not going to let you know what it is now. It's obviously going to be announced when I hit 150 subs and I'll do a video on it then. Oh, fuck. Also, there's guys, one behind there. I just want to say um, a big thank you for 60 subs. I know it's not a big number. We'll it's only 60. Before. But it is a lot closer to that 100 number. And then it's also closer Fucking to 1,000. So a big shot thank you to you guys. Thanks for watching this video, guys. And they're in. I've been Jay Rasta. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Rasta JC. Um.